It has been reported that the energy drink industry has turned over $159 billion just in one year. And Red Bull was one of the most common and most popular of the drinks, selling over 7.5 billion of these cans just in 2019 alone. It claims that it can give you energy, which is a very attractive claim. And I think it's one of the biggest reasons why the industry has done so well, because who doesn't want more energy? But the question is, what is it about this drink that actually gives you energy? And does it actually give you energy? And what are the health effects of all the ingredients that are listed here at the back? Well, in this video, I'm going to examine each one of these ingredients in here, going through them in turn to see which one actually gives you the energy, if so, and the health effects of each one. And hopefully by the end, you'll have a more informed way of making a decision as to whether you should be drinking this or not. And then if so, how much you should be drinking. Make sure you sit to the end to find out how you can mitigate some of the harmful effects of this type of energy drink. Let's begin. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Stephen and thank you so much for joining. In this video, we're going to be looking at energy drinks in particular, Red Bull. I'm going to examine each one of these ingredients to see which one gives you the energy and the health effects. Now, just before I do, Red Bull, it started in 1987 by an Austrian man that for the life of me, I just can't pronounce his name. So I'm going to put his name on the screen here. But basically, just before he was flying back to Austria in Thailand, he tried this local energy drink and he says that it cured his jet lag on his way back. So from then, he was inspired to start a energy drink company that he called Red Bull and that started in 87 and since then has basically exploded to be a huge, huge company selling almost as many cans as there are people on this earth. Now, just before I go into the ingredients, I do have to note that with each country, there are some variations with the amounts and the types of ingredients. Now, generally it is quite similar, but there will be some differences. So as we look into the ingredients here, the first thing that we've got is water. So no problem with that. We'll see we are 70% water at least. So that's absolutely fine. The next thing we've got in here is then carbon dioxide and citric acid. So these are both acidic ingredients. The carbon dioxide is going to give you the, the bubbles in the drink and the citric acid is going to help preserve the drink to prevent bacteria growth to basically just last longer on the shelf. It is acidic and so we do need some acidic regulators which is what they put in next. So we've got sodium carbonate and magnesium carbonate and these are relatively natural ingredients and actually kind of a good thing because you don't really want to be drinking a drink that is too acidic. Now we get on to the interesting ingredients and that is sucrose and glucose. So basically anything ending with an ose is going to be a sugar. And this can, so bear in mind, this is a 473 milliliter can, contains around 50 grams of sugar. So proportionally, it's actually less than a can of Coke, which kind of surprised me. I thought this actually may have more. So it's still not great, um, but it's not, not as much as, as a can of Coke. Now, one of the claims that the energy drinks have is that it's the amount of sugar that in here that is going to give you the energy. Now, the thing is about sugar is that, yes, you need glucose for your cells to provide energy. However, just because you take in sugar doesn't mean you're going to feel more energy or that you're going to have an energy hype. Now, one of the reasons why is because this is refined sugar and sugar in nature is designed to have other nutrients around it to help its absorption primarily stop the amount of sugar getting into your blood so quickly so you don't have these huge spikes. With refined sugar it gets into your blood really quick you have a big spike and what happens when you have a big spike is that it can often be followed by a, a low uh, dump basically so did you have a slump later on in the day a couple of hours later or sometimes even sooner than that because of the reduction of sugar in your in your blood basically your body is overcompensating for the flooding of sugar into your blood so just because you're having sugar i, I think often is actually not going to give you more energy it's probably going to make you more tired and actually do the very opposite now the other thing about sugar is that it also increases your dopamine now this is why we love sugar and this is why we keep going back for more 
the thing is with, with dopamine particularly if you're having lots of these in a day or having lots of uh, sugar in the day if you keep getting lots of dopamine hits then you're going to eventually start to deplete your dopamine dopamine is a really important hormone for your drive and your motivation so if you're depleting your dopamine you might find that you're actually getting less drive and less motivation in the day and if that is you and you're having a lot of these types of drinks or a lot of um, sugar in the day then that actually might be the reason and you may want to consider reducing the amount of sugar in your day you might actually find that, that has a big effect on your drive and motivation now some energy drinks have sweetness and replace of the sugar as such as this one here this monster has couple sweeteners artificial sweeteners now arguably maybe it's better than taking a ton of sugar none of them are going to be great the long-term effect of particularly artificial sweeteners isn't really that great there's been some links with cancers there's been some links of it depleting your gut bacteria and also weight gain so short term maybe it's okay but i certainly wouldn't be having this thinking that i'm doing myself a, a more of a favor compared to drinking than more of a sugary drink like this now the next ingredient that we have in this drink is caffeine and i think this is where we get most of the effects of this type of energy drink the amount of caffeine in this drink so bear in mind is 473 milliliters is around 150 milligrams so just to give you some comparison a, a cup of coffee is anywhere between 80 and 130 milligrams for your standard cup of coffee so it is going to be more than a standard cup of coffee however if you're going to have the 250 milliliter energy drinks for red bulls then it's going to be just a little bit less than a cup of coffee so that amount if that's all you had in the day then that's not really a big issue caffeine primarily works by blocking a chemical in your body called adenosine adenosine essentially is a chemical that will build up as soon as you wake up and you'll get more of it as, as you go throughout the day until the end of the day and basically the more you have in your body the more tired you're going to feel and it's what helps us then go to sleep in the evening caffeine will block adenosine which means you get less adenosine build up which then means you're going to feel more energy you're going to feel less tired so this is an ingredient that will help you feel more focused it's been a very well studied ingredient caffeine and it's been shown to boost your performance and, and your mental performance as well and boost your energy the thing we have to remember though about caffeine is that you're not inputting any energy in there there isn't any calories in caffeine all you're doing is borrowing energy so you do have more energy in the short term but long term what often will happen is that you'll then have to catch up and so you actually have less energy later on throughout the day the other thing about caffeine is going to increase the sympathetics so your sympathetic is a system that will activate when you're like running away from a tiger to give you one example so you're going to have things like an increase of your heart rate breathing rate your increase in your blood pressure, increase in your uh, muscle tone, and these are all things that help you get out of that stressful situation. This is fine in the short term because your body can recover and that's absolutely fine. But if you're having several of these drinks every single day, you're going to be constantly boosting your sympathetic system, which over the long term is going to put a huge strain on your body, particularly your cardiovascular system, your heart, because your heart is going to be beating faster, you're going to have more strain. On the arterial walls because the increase in the blood pressure etc and that's and there's going to be many more effects to that as well so this is going to be one of the impacts of having too many of these and generally too much caffeine now the other thing it has is b vitamins i find this quite interesting so they have b2 b3 b6 and b12 b vitamins are generally for your nervous system and metabolism and it essentially helps you obtain the energy from the food that you're taking in and without it you wouldn't actually be able to get as much energy so yes in a way b vitamins are going to help boost your energy however there's a couple of issues with this the first one is that the b vitamins in here are artificial vitamins minerals are designed to be absorbed with other nutrients so like with fruit or veg or with fiber with fat with protein as well as other minerals and vitamins when you're having it on its own like this and with only a few other things with it it's questionable how much you're actually going to absorb and also it depends on where they're also getting the b vitamins from the other thing is that if you're not deficient in b vitamins then you're not it's not going to have any effect on you at all and lastly even if you are deficient and you are absorbing it it's unlikely to have an immediate effect often when you're taking minerals and vitamins as a supplement 
you need to wait weeks or months until you really start to notice the difference. So it's not like sugar or caffeine that has immediate effect on your body. I don't think um, the B vitamins are probably going to be doing very much in this drink. Now the next ingredient they have hidden here, which is a common ingredient, is taurine. And taurine is an amino acid, and one of the things that it apparently does is it can boost your GABA and glycine, which are neurotransmitters, which helps to dampen and relax in a way your body and relax your brain, dampen your brain. This has been thought to help to counter some of the uh, negative effects of caffeine, particularly the jitteriness and the, an the anxiousness that can sometimes develop if you're, if you're having too much caffeine. And then the last couple of things in here is going to be the flavorings and the colors. Now, they're not very specific on these two things, so I can't really make too much of a judgment. Now, there have been some reports on some flavorings, particularly the artificial ones, of causing some harmful effects, but it's hard to tell just because it's, it's not very specific. So the question is, does this drink actually provide you with energy? Well, they actually did a study on this where they took some participants and they had one group take this and one group take another drink. And they did find that they had a significant improvement in their mental and physical performance as a result of taking this drink. The only problem with the study is that it was only 36 participants. It's not really the best type of study. And I think most likely those improvements were probably primarily from the caffeine. What would be interesting is to compare a cup of coffee and this energy drink. The advantage of a cup of coffee, of course, is that you, you don't have the sugar, you don't have any of the harmful ingredients. So I would say that you're probably better off having a cup of coffee. So the question is, is this drink healthy? Well, I have to say, I don't think it is. It's ultra processed. It contains a lot of sugar, a lot of artificial ingredients. It's not a natural product. And there has been reports of long-term consumption of this type of drink causing things like insomnia, depression, stress, as well as jitteriness, restlessness, and shaking hands. Another study here showed how long-term consumption of, of energy drinks showed alterations in heart muscle. I mean, both of these studies recommended to not consume this long term. So it's by no means a health drink and certainly don't think just because you're having one without sugar is suddenly then gonna be a healthy drink. Now, if you have one of these on a rare occasion, I don't think it's gonna be an issue, but it's more the long-term consumption, particularly if you're combining this with cups of coffee because the amount of caffeine you're gonna get is not gonna be great. Now, as I promised at the beginning, there is a way that you can mitigate some of these harmful effects. Not all of them, but some of them. And one way of doing that is not to have this on an empty stomach. If you have this after a meal, that means that the sugar that goes into your system is not gonna just go straight into your blood, causing that high blood sugar spike. They have it with food, at least that'll be slowed down. It's not to say it's gonna be healthy that way, but at least it's gonna be better than having it on an empty stomach, as well as the nutrients that you have in here may have a better chance of being absorbed because they've been absorbed with other nutrients in your food that, you're, that you would have just had. So that's my analysis of this drink. It's not a drink I have. Uh, I can't remember the last time I had one of these drinks. Do put in the comments if you are somebody that has an energy drink like this on a regular basis and your experience with it, it would be interesting for us to, to learn your experience as well. If you found this video interesting, I think you might find my video where I analyze a can of Coke, that's sugar and sugar-free Coke that you can check out here. And so I will see you on that video or on my next video. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't, don't miss, <laughs> so you don't miss that video too. I will see you on one of those videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.